Let's take a look at decisions on equal employment opportunity. Several court decisions helped clarify courts' interpretations of EEO laws. Griggs was a landmark case because the Supreme Court used it to define unfair discrimination. Lawyers sued the Duke Power Company on behalf of Willie Griggs, an applicant for a job as a coal handler. The company required its coal handlers to be high school graduates. Griggs said that this wasn't related to success on the job, and it resulted in more blacks than whites being rejected for those jobs. Griggs won the case in a unanimous decision. In the written opinion, Chief Justice Berger laid out three crucial guidelines affecting equal employment legislation. First, the court ruled that discrimination does not have to be overt to be illegal. The plaintiff does not have to show that the employer intentionally discriminated against the employee or the applicant. Second, the court held that an employment practice must be job-related if it has an unequal impact on members of a protected class. For example, if arithmetic is not required to perform the job, don't test for arithmetic. Third, Chief Justice Berger's opinion placed the burden of proof on the employer to show that the hiring practice is job-related. Title VII does not forbid testing, however, the test must be job-related or valid in that performance on the test must relate to performance on the job. If the employer wants to test candidates for a job, then the employer should first clearly document and understand the job's duties and responsibility. Furthermore, the job's performance standards should be clear and unambiguous. That way, the employer can identify which employees are performing better than others. The court also established the EEOC guidelines on validation.